so we're back with the old tank that I took off and um, you've already seen in the last video that I've put a replacement tank on that isn't full of rust holes now this looks a lot worse than it is because all of this paint is rust effect paint and I was quite happy with that but what I wasn't happy with was the pepper dashed rust holes in the base so I stripped it out relined it and then the outside are completely fiberglassed but I just decided I don't think that was a sensible idea so I replaced it but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the um, metal out on the insides of this just so we can have a little look at the inside um, so this is the top tank and obviously it's upside down but that would run down into the bottom tank and then I presume this is um, your breather um, so it'd be interesting to see uh, what it looks like on the inside anyway so I'm just literally going to get a, a cutter grinder and see if we can take all of those um, bits of base metal out um, so I don't, I don't quite know whether this has got perhaps the pipe runs further to the top near the filler cap or whether it just stops there and is brazed in not sure I well I know it's brazed in from looking at the, the new tank um, you can just see it there uh, but whether that pipe continues up further I don't I don't know I would imagine it does um, otherwise yeah I don't know maybe maybe not we'll see so let's see if we can start chomping at some of this metal no, this is scrap anyway so it doesn't matter I'm going to go through a lot of these and these will either chomp straight through it or they'll be utterly useless just want to avoid getting the big angle grinder out but I might need to we'll see well the first one broke in my hand putting it into the uh, grinder oh my god done it again just finished grinding this outside because it was going to make a bit of a mess um, and I need to kind of put my foot in there to hold it down whilst I was using the angle grinder hopefully that's cut it completely out but we shall see I'm going to get it back in and see if we can sort of pull it out anyway there might be some little bits where it's still connected or something like that who knows We'll see. Yikes. Yuck. That's kind of like the remnants of the sealer, but see that's not very 
good. So this is what the inside of a manky tank looks like. Oh my word. Well, that wasn't the perfect clean and seal, was it? That answers that question though. So that pipe there, which is the breather, runs all the way up to the top and terminates there. So it's like literally at the sort of the highest point of the tank. So this is the uh, inside of the base of the tank then. Um, obviously I've dislodged an awful lot of stuff getting it out, but as you can see, that was not, whatever sealer I poured in there just wasn't doing its job. And the clean that I did, it's just kind of rusted up again anyway. Absolutely disgusting. So yeah, most of this is the sealer itself. You can see it's not reached some parts. Although some might still, yeah, some of it's still left in there. I think where I've pulled it all out, of course. But it clearly wasn't sealing. And you can see how rusty that is. So again, that's the inside of the underside and that's just where all the sealers come up it's just done a terrible terrible job which is kind of why I decided that was not uh, <laughs> not an acceptable finish I think um, oh my word I mean that wouldn't have been doing anything would it hmm? Tell you what, let's get the endoscope out and we'll look on the inside of the new tank and see uh, what that looks like comparatively. I think it's pretty whistly clean to be fair. We shall see. So I'm going to use my old laptop. It's just rebooting, restarting. Um, and with it, I'm going to plug in a a very cheap endoscope. Um, I think it's about three meters in length, actually. That's um, so you've got a five and a half mil camera. Uh, that's the diameter of the bore, anyway. And um, you can just see the LEDs on the the end there, so it lights up. And you've got a little dial switch there, so you can turn it up and down. It's a one point three megapixel camera and it does quite a good job just plugs in on the usb and you can get into little tight spaces like the tank here um, you've obviously got to get around the filler cap but i think it'll just about do it so we're going to have a go with that and have a poke around inside the tank just to see what we can see i'm not expecting to see anything too Grotty, I do, as I said, I think this is quite clean. Judging by the outside condition. Right, here we go. Uh, so it's a little bit dark, but uh, um, so anyway, so that's you can see inside the tank just at the uh, filler quite um, flash rusting there. I think that bit of vinegar won't sort out as you go further in down to the right. I have a little poke around around the front. It's awkward to control this, I'm afraid. Sorry. All fairly clear. It's not, it's obviously only a 1.3 megapixel camera. So I'm just going round to the left 
and then you can just see a little bit of flash rusting. And now coming around to the back. There we go, and I'm just gonna kind of poke it down. I've, I've got no idea. Oh, you can see a little bit of flash rusting everywhere. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure which way the camera's orientated now, but I think that's just looking at the base. So there you go, that's what I was kind of expecting to see, that sort of level of flash rusting. So nothing serious. Um, obviously this is just a 1.3 megapixel camera, so not picking up great detail. Oh dear. <laughs> um, but nothing that a bit of vinegar won't sort out. So. There you go, I'm going to pull that back out now. Oh, there you go, that's quite clear, isn't it? That's on the base. Yeah, I reckon a bit of vinegar will sort that out. It's quite clear, actually, isn't it? There's some of this. I'm just taking her out now, back out through the... There, okay, well that's pretty good. But yeah, that's kind of what it's like inside. And I said that was obviously whistly clean, but you're going to get some kind of flash rusting inside an old tank. Uh, but yeah, quite pleased with that. Right, uh, I know that wasn't great. Um, in terms of quality of picture, but um, it showed the tank mostly uh, mostly good. You could just see quite well, poor resolution, flash rusting really. So uh, yeah, it should be okay. Um, we'll call that um, job done. But I will I will get the tank back off and give it a bit of a sort of a clean. I think before it's used. Um, but yeah, no problems. All good. Thanks for watching. We shall see you on the next video.